Hey there, it's Kristen for the Inspired Oracles Challenge. And I just wanted to do kind of a quick check-in and, and share with you a project that I've been working on. I haven't really been doing the prompts each month, but I have still been making things. And I hope you have been too. So I wanted to share with you how to convert a coloring book into an Oracle deck. So you can see some of the cards that I've made so far, and I'm doing these as circular cards. I'm kind of in a circular mode right now. And I just wanna show you what I've been doing. So I started off with this coloring book that I got. It's really just $4. I got it at um, Ollie's, which hopefully you have a Ollie's in your area or someplace where they sell um, just really inexpensive things. I think these are like overstock items. And I usually go there and I buy coloring books, even though I don't need any extra coloring books. But a lot of times I buy them and I don't necessarily have an idea of what to do with them. But I always like to buy them just because they're inexpensive and usually an idea will reveal itself. So this one is actually a glow in the dark coloring book. Um, and it is all mandalas. What's really neat about it, let's see if I can make it so you can see it a little bit better. What's really neat about it is that it is all um, already symbols. Like it's not just kind of random shapes. They're actually these symbols in the mandalas. And this is a really great list of the symbols and what they mean. And then in the back, there are pictures of all of the mandalas with the symbols that are in each one and a little write-up about what it means symbolically. So you can see here, all the pages were perforated, which is great. And I've already taken them out. And so this is like the size of the pages and these are the mandala pages. And you can see they each have a kind of keyword already here. And when I saw that, I thought, oh, this would be great to do, you know, an Oracle deck. And so when I first got it, probably a year ago, I really didn't know how to turn it into something. I wanted to laminate it, but then it was too large and I really didn't have a good idea. And what I've done recently is created some mandala templates in Google Slides, which I've been using to make a lot of different circle, circular cards. And so I just realized, hey, I can use this coloring book and just kind of drop, take a photo of these and then edit the photo so that they're black and white and then um, drop them into into place in the circular template. What's interesting about these, I don't know if you can see it. Well, you see that they're not black and white because there's like a coating on these so that they are um, glow in the dark. And I thought about doing something that was like a glow in the dark version. I do have some glow in the dark paint and I may experiment with that later. So these were the the pages, there's 40 images. And what I did was I photographed these. What you could do first, you could actually uh, color them in first and then photograph them. But I am not really one that likes to color a lot. I like to color a little, not a lot. And so this just looked very daunting, coloring all of these pages. So I actually photographed them like this and then am coloring a smaller version. So just to give you an idea of these and what they look like and the size of them. And so I photographed all of these and I put them into my Google Slides and dropped them in and I decided to put um, a keyword 
four, four key words on each circle, circular card. And so I used the, I kind of started as a starting point with the, the keyword that was part of the card and some of the symbols. And then they were getting a little bit repetitious. So some of them I looked up the animal for the animal spirit. Some of them I just used kind of my own understanding of the, of the symbols. And so I, the template that I had, that I had created has just four circles. Um, on a page and then again just drop the mandala in here so you can see that they're all black and white I just printed them in black and white and um, when I edited them I edited them to just kind of clean and clarify the images and just make them as uh, kind of a sharp of a contrast as possible and so this is what they look like so once I print these out on cardstock so it's a little bit of a thicker paper. I print them out on cardstock, and then I've been coloring them with brush pens. So here's an example of one that I've just colored, and I'm just coloring them whatever colors I feel like. <laughs> so um, you can use your coloring system in terms of symbols. Um, or like I said, just coloring whatever you want. I wanted them to have the outside, this outer um, part to just be white and black with the writing. Like I didn't want to have everything colored in. I want it to, to just be kind of like the center parts colored in. So I am hitting all of the things in, all the items really in the circle, but I'm not trying to color every single area. So after this, I, I laminate. And so this is just an example of the um, laminated version. And so I just run it through my thermal laminator. And then once I get it to this, I cut it out with like big scissors and then I cut out individual, the individual circles with my smaller scissors because it's just easier to cut around the circle. And so, again, these are the cards that I've created so far. And I have, I have um, some more to make, but it's just been really fun. It's a just enough coloring for me. <laughs> so that's what I, you know, like I said, if you really like to color, you can just color the larger sheets and then photograph them. But for me, this is enough coloring. This space is enough, is enough coloring for me. So um, I think I haven't really quite decided how I want to interpret the cards, like in terms of a system, but you know, you can, uh, we have humanity, spiritual smudging. So you can just make up phrases like that. You could also take the symbols, like the first symbol that you see on the page or you know, when you lay out the cards rather, the first symbol that you see, you could take that information. Pretty much all of these have, well, there are animal, spirit animals, and also um, um, plants. You know, there's a lot of nature symbols on these as well. So depending on what you see or see first, what you notice first, you can use that to interpret. So I'm really just, wanting to just play with these and um, definitely don't have anything I don't think that's quite like this that I've made before. So I just wanted to share this with you as a project, taking your a coloring book and converting it into an oracle deck. And this one was done as, as a circular um, style, but mostly because the coloring book came with mandalas. They were already circular. But I think that you could do this with other coloring books too, and maybe not make a circular deck. So uh, there are lots of coloring books out now that have these different quotes on them. And I think this would make a really great like oracle deck that's an affirmations deck 
for example. And again, you color in the picture, then take a picture of it, photograph it, and drop it into, um, like I said, I like to use Google Slides. Just drop it into a template and just make everything the same size. And I think that would make a really cute deck. I have this book, um, You Are Here by Jenny Lawson, which is a really, really cool book. I think this book would make a great deck. Just the images look really fun. And then even just the words that are already in here. And then the images are really, really wonderful. So this might give you another idea for using your coloring books, especially if you're like me and you just kind of collect them. But you don't color a lot, you just color a little. Here's another really good one, I think. And I really like the coloring books that have some color on them already, or it's just a little bit of stuff for you to color in. I really like the way that they look even without color. So on those pages, I mean, I would probably just leave them as is. So hopefully this will just give you some ideas for, again, using your coloring books. I've already, um, I talked about making my handmade deck kind of with some of these same patterns. So you can use them in that same way. Um, and so, you know, whatever coloring books that you have around, whether you really enjoy coloring or you just kind of like a little bit of coloring, um, I think that coloring books have so many wonderful patterns and symbols uh, that you can look at and make into a really great oracle deck.